Rapidash. Very competitive, this Pokémon will chase anything that moves fast in the hopes of racing it. You think you're better than me? Gyarados. It is an extremely vicious and violent Pokémon. When humans begin to fight, it will appear and burn everything to the ground with intensely hot flames. Bro, you step into me, bro? <laughs> oh, big mistake, bro. Oh, uh, 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 uh. That was me. That was Gyarados. Mewtwo. Because its battle abilities were raised to the ultimate level, it thinks only of defeating its foes. I will defeat all my foes. Later. For now I'm just gonna stand here motionless on an island in this cave. Man, I really hope the first child who runs into me doesn't completely own me instantly. That would suck. Pikachu. This intelligent Pokémon roasts hard berries with electricity to make them tender enough to eat. <laughs> bro, roast another hard berry for the dude. He's hurting. Do not push me about the berries, bro. Is that humans fighting or Pikachus? Pikachus, Gyarados. Just Pikachus. Ah, gotcha. Never mind. Camerupt. Camerupt has a volcano inside its body. Magma of 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit courses through its body. Occasionally, the humps on this Pokémon's back erupt, spewing the superheated magma. Oh god, am I erupting? Oh jeez. Oh my god, is that guy erupting magma twice as hot as the surface of the sun, which is 9,941 degrees Fahrenheit? Regigigas. There is an enduring legend that states this Pokémon towed continents with ropes. Why are you towing the continents with ropes, Regigigas? My actions are beyond your mortal understanding. Also, just think they would look better a little bit to the left. Ever hear of Feng Shui? Mr. Mime. If interrupted while it is miming, it will slap around the offender with its broad hands. Bopper, a mime. Behold his jeeps. I am in the middle of a performance, you insolent whelp! You have struck my child, mime. Prepare to be unmade. Lick a tongue. Its tongue, twice its body's length, moves around freely to catch prey. Its licks cause a tingling sensation. Okay, okay, so uh, long tongue causes tingling something something sex. We put you next to a cloister and the jokes write themselves. All right, next! Badoo. Peanut butter, I've been waiting for you to visit my office. Close the portal. Take a seat. Shadot. It mimics the cries of other Pokémon to trick them into thinking it's one of them. This way, they won't attack it. Rayquaza! 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 Hey bro, this other Rayquaza is totally normal. Regular as hell. Yet, everything seems totally usual over here to me. Lunatone. It becomes very active on the night of a full moon. This Pokémon was first discovered 40 years ago at the site of a meteor strike. My god, this meteor has brought an alien Pokémon. With no evolution. No way it'll be competitive with these stats. Worthless. Dump it in a PC box. Hunchcrow. It makes its Murkrow cronies bring it food. It idles its time away, grooming itself in its nest. 
I said pizza berries, you mo- These are Chesto berries. What am I supposed to do with Chesto berries? I can't believe they're surrounded by idiots. Okay, so yeah, we need to unionize, like, now. Seismitoad. This Pokémon is popular among the elderly, who say the vibrations of its lumps are great for massages. Oh, Seismitoad, my sciatica could use a good rub with those vibrating lumps of yours. <sighs> is this Kevin's office? Yeah, I need to see him immediately. What do you mean he's taking the entire day to work with peanut butter? I need help now! Has anyone seen that seismitoad? I'm gonna sit on it for hours. <laughs> Kevin. Wearing a tie and a short sleeve button up, Kevin's assist villains and reveal logical inconsistencies. Also, they retrieve children kidnapped by ghost balloons. Listen, I ascended to a higher plane of existence, helped the devil attack and dethrone God, and achieved knowledge beyond all mortal understanding. Nirvana's not just a baby's dick in a pool, peanut butter! Okay, okay. The point is, I've helped every villain in existence, and I thought I'd change it up a bit and serve the side of good. So what's your deal? I gave up on my godhood to travel the cosmos. I was tired of Earth. These people... Tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. But the further I went, the more I realized I was running away from what I truly wanted. A wife. A family that did not include a weirdly sexy Clefairy. But now Bianca is married to Bad Bidoof. Well, just call him Badoof, for one. Yeah. You know the Dorkly channel? The YouTube channel that gives us life? Uh, what? Maybe a little meta for you, I'll back up. You are part of a series called Pokemon Rusty. Extremely popular, big crossover appeal. They're only bringing you back to hearken to that popular series and squeeze what little juice is left in YouTube as a platform for animation. So, what are you saying? What I'm saying should be fairly obvious. The fate of the Dorkly Channel depends on the success of your mission. Go win back Bianca, defeat Badoof. It's the only way. Yeah, do it, peanut butter. Do it for old Shuckle. That's me, good old Shuckle. Kinda ditto too a little bit. Mostly Shuckle though, yeah! They never finished my series. Come on, Peanut Butter, we need ya. Him Preg Greg has almost definitely impregnated my whole family by now. All right. I don't know who any of these people are, but they have given me the inspiration I need. Great! Now, if you'll excuse me, I saw a Drifloo out the window. Drop the kid, you goddamn ghost balloon! Peanut Butter, you returned for me. Yes, and now let our final battle begin, Bad Bidoof. Phantom. According to old tales, these Pokémon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died while lost in the forest. So, you're a kid who died in the forest and possessed a tree stump? Yup! Huh. Seems like there might have been better things to possess. Not a lot of options for a dead kid in the forest, okay, lady? I don't know. Just opens up a lot of questions. Why are there so many phantoms out there? Those are all children who died in the woods? Why are there so many dead kids? Oh, I don't know. I guess we might live in a world where moms send their 11-year-olds out into the wilderness only accompanied by currently on fire dinosaurs or something. Ah, right. Kind of a miracle there are any non-dead kids, right? I mean, between that and the ghost balloons that kidnap kids. I'm sorry, Bianca. I'm not strong enough. No! We just need to get the upper hand. We need a way of distracting Bad Bidoof. I've got it. Where are you hiding, Peanut Butter? You can't run from me forever. Peanut Butter! Squawk! That's me, Peanut Butter! There you are, Peanut Butter! Now I've got you! Audino. It's 
auditory sense is astounding. It has a radar-like ability to understand its surrounding through slight sounds. Ah, the gentle swaying of wind against the grass, the soft rustle of leaves. Whismur. Usually, its cries are like quiet murmurs. If frightened, it shrieks at the same volume as a jet plane. Hey there. Don't scare people like that. It's rude. Hoot hoot. It marks time precisely. Some countries consider it to be a wise friend, versed in the world's ways. Admit defeat, bad Bidoof. I am Badoof! I will rule Doofkind by defeating you and you- uh, Hold it, I say. Uh, hold on one second here. What are you two himbo Badoofs fussing about? He married my ex when I was on a cosmic journey with an inept sandwich delivery boy and a sexy clefairy. Yes, that sums it up nicely. Well, look, I might be a simple hoot hoot, but I know a few things like this convoluted tale is just a little too much for regular down-home bokemans like me. Y'all should focus on the real enemy, unfettered capitalism. What? Y'all aren't enemies, you're class allies. It's society's elites who pitch against one another, making you believe it's a zero-sum game, and the only way to get ahead is to tear down each other, rather than the institutions that exploit you. You are a wise friend, Hoot Hoot. Bad Bidoof, let us put aside our differences and fight our common enemy, the ruling class of humanity, through direct action and praxis. Now I'm afraid I must be skedaddling. I got a friend who needs to dispose of an Audino corpse right quick. Wow, that guy is such a good friend. <laughs>